now i am going to show you another important thing that is when a person go to register in this system i am going to show you there are total three items right there are total three users so admin vendor customer i am going to register as another user so smith smith at the rate of gmail.com password is the password password is the password so here i am going to click on register you see that after the uh, registration a user is taken to the dashboard but actually it should not be happened when a user will request for the registration or sign up then an email should be sent to his email address then he will just click on that email verification link and then only he can log in in this system otherwise he will not be able to see this space already this system is developed in the breeze but that is deactivated now what i will do i will activate that system okay so i am going to log out again the newly created user i am going to delete it okay now let's uh, check how to activate it so here you see that in the model in the models there is a user model and in the user model you will see that in the top there is a line that is co commented on that means use illuminate contracts auth must verify email so i will activate it now so uncomment it okay and here um, in the class user extends authenticable and here i will use implements then i will call this one that is must verify email so yes it is activated now very easy now before going there to check i am going to my env file in order to test the email i am logged in into the mail trap in real uh, real time or in the web application when you will uh, use the application for the real time then what you will do you will just go to your smtp and take the information for the SMTP of your hosting provider or Gmail SMTP then it, you will put that into here where I am going to put the information now but as I am using the local server so I am going to use the mail trap okay so in this mail trap account after login I just log in in the mail trap using my email address then you will see that in the integration section there is the integration for the Laravel that is 7 plus so you see that all the information are given here like this so i am going to copy the host name from here and in the dot env file you see that there is a mail host i am going to replace it and all other information i will take from here but i can just uh, go to take from the show credential option you can set up the port any of this so I am going to use the 587 that is completely okay for now and here the username is this I am going to copy and paste it here then I am going to take the password SMTP password and I am going to paste it here and the encryption I am going to give that is TLS the from address is hello at the top example.com that is completely okay I do not need to do anything in this setup now now what i will do i am just going to the users now let's check what has happened i am now going to register and smith smith then password password if you click on register you will see that it will send the link to the user's email address first you see that another page is coming now that is thanks for signing up and a message is showing here and it is telling me to check my email if i go to mail tab you see that a few seconds ago the email comes that is from smith at the top gmail.com that is the user's email address that i used to sign up so i am going to click here and the email comes here hello please click the link below to verify your email address that means without verification you will not be able to log in in the system right you uh, if you want you can just click on logout that is completely fine if i want to log in as a smith like this 
it is not possible actually if you click on login the same page coming again it is actually not taking me to the dashboard if you go here you will see that the smith comes here but it is not verified yet now here i am going to check the email and here i am going to click on the verify email address now if i click on the verify email address it is immediately taking you to the profile page now if i go to log out and again try to log in now the as the verification is done i can easily log in now yes so without the verification you will not be able to see any page and you cannot log in in this system so in this way you can easily activate the email verification system you see that now email verified that there is a entry so when a user will be verified then the email verified that will be added here 